of you might may be poring over your brackets right now to enter into an office pool or maybe just for fun, but some UC students are taking a class on designing and filling out brackets. We sent Local 12's Anjanette Levy back to school for a lesson in bracketology. Anjanette, they never taught classes like this when I was in school about 100 years ago. They didn't teach them when I was there either, Cammie. You know, I learned today that per picking a perfect bracket is basically impossible. This is a look at my bracket. In the second round, I'm going to be picking Florida to beat Albany, and then we're going to go down here to the University of Cincinnati. Some people think Harvard's going to be an upset. I am picking Cincinnati. Today we spent some time with Dr. Michael Magazine, who's taking filling out a bracket into the classroom. Will the Bearcats beat Harvard? UC business professor Michael Magazine says yes. We're going to outsmart them. Dr. Magazine and a former student teach bracketology. It focuses on using math and statistics to rank and pick teams. It's not exact. It's not exact. Everything is stochastic. Everything is random. We don't know anything for certain. Students fill out their brackets, but all the stats in the world can't predict upsets. One of the messages we try to give our students in, in, in analytics in general is that sometimes you make the correct decision but it doesn't always come out the way you want. ESPN analyst Joe Lenardi coined the term bracketology. This year, there's big money up for grabs. Multi-billionaires Warren Buffett and Dan Gilbert are offering $1 billion to anyone who can pick the perfect bracket. The odds? One in 9.2 quintillion. We have better odds of, of, of winning Powerball, being attacked by a shark, being struck by lightning, getting a hole in one, bowling a 300, all of those put together than getting a perfect bracket. I'm a bracket novice, so I asked for a crash course. Kansas and Eastern Kentucky, I'm totally picking Kansas because I've heard they're really good. Dr. Magazine uses a spreadsheet to make his picks. But I have lots of the data that I've put together uh, just because it's fun to do. And then I ignore it when I do, when I actually do, do my balloting. Personal taste and emotion usually influence brackets. For most of us, bracketology is about fun and bragging rights. You know, it's really just seeing how they do in their office pool. That's what it's about for most people. Now, Dr. Magazine is actually keeping his ballot, or his bracket rather, a secret. This is the second year he's taught bracketology. His former student who runs the company Prediction Machine is picking Florida to win it all, and I think I might have to steal that pick wow. from him. Wow. Okay, so I, you know, taking a class in statistics just scares <laughs> the heck out of me. It would have when I was in college. But I think bracketology would have been fun. Is it a real popular class? They, they have 30 students, but the thing is, you have to have a prerequisite in bracketology, or in statistics, rather, oh. to take bracketology. Oh, forget and, it. I wouldn't have made it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Today, I was like, I'm bracketology overload. Yeah, so really. I think you really have to have that math back which gotcha. not for me. Oh so. well we'll just pick the ones we like. Yeah, Thank definitely. you, Internet.